Good evening, YouTube. You guys are now watching another segment of the Calorie Effect. Today, we're going to be opening the Breakers of Shadows box. Now, I was supposed to have a lot more than this, but unfortunately, I'm just going to be having this one for right now. It's going to be way too much to open on YouTube. Um, just about every single card in here is probably I'm getting rid of. I really don't really care about. And just to let you guys know that this is brought to you by Versus. If you guys have not heard about the case tournament, they're having a $5 case tournament tomorrow, which is just amazing. $5, the winner gets a case tournament. I just thought I should put that out there. Just an amazing shop to go to. But let's get to this Breakers of Shadows box opening. My handy dandy knife. Really excited about this set because a foil is in every single pack. So, you know, you no longer get those crappy uh, stuff where you just don't get anything. All right, pack number one. Sweet. All right. Forbidden. Oh, a nice gravity dragon. And that is my first pack. I pull the ultra rare in Odd Eyes Gravity Dragon. Keep in mind that there's no Ghost Rares, there's no Secret Rares, or there's no Ghost Rares, there's no Ultimate Rares, only Ultras, Supers, and Secrets. The Ultimate Rares, you can only get an Astro Pack, and you know, that is what it is. And then the Black Luster Soldier. I'm not, you know, 100% satisfied with the Ultra Rares so far. Actually, no, actually, I really do like the Black Luster Soldier. I plan on doing um, a deck with Black Luster Soldier, and I'm pretty sure I need it, so never mind. Um, in the odd eyes, I know a lot of people that actually want that. Our next pack, we're gonna pull Magic Specter Super Sale. That's a really good card. Um, I think that it really helps with the Magic Specter deck. It's basically a pot of avarice for the people that don't know. Um, are there any commons that I really want to see in here? I don't think that there's a lot of good commons that I can think of. Twin Twister, sweet, one of the best cards in the set. For the people that don't know, Twin Twisters, at the cost of discarding one card, allows you to destroy two spells and traps on the field. Really good card. For the next pack, and our super rare is Dharma Eyes Magician. Um, Dharma Eyes Magician is a, a pretty decent magician card. I believe if it's in your scale or if, you, if it's in your hand, you discard it and you make a monster. It's a large a level. I'm not 100% sure. Let me actually read it. Uh, once per turn, you can reveal one pendulum monster in your hand. Target one magician card on your pendulum zone. That pendulum scale becomes the level revealed until the end of the turn, even if this card leaves the field. So that's pretty cool. It's a fact reads while it, while when while this card is pendulum summoned, this card is this card on the field is what? I'm sorry. While this pendulum summon card on the field, magician pendulum monsters you control cannot be destroyed by our opponent's card effects during the turn of pendulum summon. That's even better. All right. So. For the next set, we pull Chimera Tech Rampage Dragon, or the next pack. And I'm just really excited that every pack is guaranteed a hollow. That's actually pretty cool, though. Now, the more and more I look into it, Magic Specter Toad is going to be the next um, monster or super rare that I'll pull. And Magic Specter Toad, what it basically does is when it's a uh, normal summon or special summon, I get to set a Mag Magic Specter. A uh, card from my deck to my field. Guiding Ariana Grande. I really like her. Um, basically, you don't have to pay four life point costs from counter trap cards. Oh, sweet. Another Dharma Eye Magician. And we've already read over what that does. Also, pull Toon Buster Blader because that's really good. You know, Toon Buster Bladers are important. Really excited to see what my secret rares are. All right, the Uninterrupted Kaiju. That card's actually really interesting. If I remember its effect correctly, it banishes all cards on the field, then you get the special summon a Kaiju on your side of the field and your opponent's side of the field, if I am correct. That's actually the boost that Kaiju's needed. Um, it's actually searchable through the field spell that they have. All right, see, this time we pull Buster Rope Destruction Swordsman. That's great. I'm hoping to pull Cyber Dragon Infinity. Cyber Dragon Infinity probably solves all my problems right now. I'll have everything I need from this set. Oh, Dynistra. I actually really needed this. Dynistra of the Draco Slayer. And then I pull Buster the Swordsman. Um, what Dynistra of the Draco Slayer does is it requires a Pendulum Monster um, and the Draco Slayer. Uh, what you get to do is you get to special summon a Pendulum Monster from your hand or graveyard. If, I'm, if you get to special summon a Draco Slayer from your hand or graveyard. Next 
Pendulum Storm is going to be the super rare. What that does is it destroys Pendulum cards on the field, then you have to destroy a spell and trap afterward. And Enlightenment Paladin is another ultra rare. Sweet. Really like that card. But excited to see these secret rares. Another Magic Specter Supercell. Unfortunately, I didn't pull any of the Dracos. Hmm, that's interesting. I wanted to pull the normal Draco Pendulum Monster. Retro Red Eyes, even better. Sweet. Really excited to see these secret rares, though, since, you know, I'm more than halfway through the box. Another Retro Red Eyes. Look. All right. Now I want to see that Draco Slayer, and I want to know where's my secret rares. All right. Tuning Magician. All right, here's where the Cali Effect gets clutch. This will be the most clutch box opening of all time, I promise you guys. Eli Manning in the fourth. Cali Effect normally does that. Magic Specter Toad, all right. Building that anticipation that you guys want to see. I think I'm down to my last three packs. This one feels like the secret rare, fellas. Chimera Tech Rampage Dragon, all right. So... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm down to four packs. Four packs left, not a single secret rare pool. And the secret rare number one is... Oh, Buster Dragon the Swordsman. All right, that's not what I really hoped for. Um, he's actually the secret rare I think nobody really wants to pull. And the next pack we have... Oh! Do, do, do. I can't stop pulling this card. God, I hate it. Um, Perform Power Pendulum Sorcerer. That is the next card that I decide to pull. That is the other secret rare. I mean, I guess I could almost play the deck, but I I'm not really interested in it. Another Pendulum Storm. Unfortunately, there were no Draco Slayers. That sucks. I really, really needed some Draco Slayers. Or the new Master Pendulum card. I'm sorry. And I didn't think I'd seen Face Off. Hmm, it's interesting. And Dynamis Rex is the last super rare. Well, that was really interesting. Um, I'm getting rid of everything else, or just about everything in this set. Um, just, I mean, it's gonna be in my Google Docs down below. Uh, if you guys really like this, uh, it's, you know me opening or, uh, booster boxes again. I was thinking about getting rid of it. Uh, go ahead and express your sentiment if you want it to be kept. Breakers of Shadow was definitely, I, I don't, personally, I think after all the hype downs down, this is a, it's an amazing set, but it's not that, it's not the best set of all time. Um, I do like that you do get a super rare guaranteed in every pack, and then two secret rares per box. I mean, it would have been really bad to open just this. I would have been pretty upset. But now that I have the Perform Pal Pendulum Sorcerer and uh, the Buster Monster, then I, I feel pretty good about it. Thank you guys so much for watching another segment of the Cali Effect. Check my Google Docs for all available cards that I have for sale. Um, like I said, yeah, catch you on the next time, guys.